1955, I was head of my tribe, and now I got the struggle just to stay alive. 90 days, I was on the slave ship, and the torment would never quit. Wicked they are, can't you see? They never had good intentions for you or me. So instead of club and study at DuSable and quit trying to be like a fucking Tubabo, plantation life created the snitch and got you less than nothing. Hey. Yes, yeah, sorry, uh, Brooklyn, yeah. Yeah, we represent Brooklyn. Kush, you know Kush? Kush. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got a location, bro? Ink said push out. Ink said push out. Yes, sir. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I want to go before the creeks, you know? Yes, sir. That's why I went to push. I didn't want to put my, my hands on because they are kind of dirty. Can you grab me? What is it? What is it? Yeah, yeah you can all get all these Rasta. cultural patches and all things Rasta that come as a lot more as well. Huh? And a lot more. And a lot more merchandise, definitely. Yeah, just visit us, all things Rasta that come, or you can call us at 336-287-2652. So we got to calculate it out 200 years, 300 years from now, what it would look like, right, mathematically. Um, I remember one time I was doing this uh, presentation at a college, and I said, um, I just had, I thought it was a simple question. I said like, what is the amount of uh, reparations you think, just if we just want to, as one aspect of reparations, if we just want to give a dollar amount to individual people, right? And nobody could give me a number. I said, just give me a number, because I, I just wanted to take that number and multiply it by 40 million, right? That was just exercise. But nobody would give me a number. Everybody would shout, just give me a number, whatever, 10,000, 200,000, a million, whatever, just give me a number. But we don't want to, there's something about us, of, you know, we have to figure out that process of actually um, being comfortable with actually dealing with the dollar amount and specifically what it's going to cost for us to get the repair. And like I said, people always get hung up. Reparations is not about the money. The, the money is used for the repair, right? So, you know, the insurance money that you get when your car is an accident, that doesn't repair your car. You use that money, take it to the repair shop, the body shop, mechanic, and you fix your car, right? So the money isn't, isn't the emphasis, but the money is the resources that's needed so that we can do the repair, right? So, I wasn't told how long I got to talk, but I think I got my point across. So y'all be ready now, July. We're gonna begin this process here in Atlanta. I think it's gonna be a pioneering process. We're gonna have these kind of focus groups all over the United States. And I think it's gonna be a working document. And over several years, we'll actually have the actual full package for what we want. You know, actually like what we want. And it'll address all the things that we've talked about today. It'll talk, it'll address the things that Brother Kwame talked about. Um, the internal repair we gotta do with each other. We gotta do internal repair, that's true. You know, we have issues, you know, baby mama drama. Uh, <laughs> we got issues with each other that we do have to work out. But we also have, like you said, there's outside forces that often influence that. You know, um, unfortunately, even I can even testify, even in my case with my children, I had to deal with the mothers of my children in the court system, and that was a very ugly thing. But, you know, we had to deal with it that way, you know. Um, but we have to begin, as I said, in the, in the repair process and reparation process, there's things that we have to do with ourselves in terms of healing, with organizations, with individuals, with our family, with our mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, uncles, or people we have issues with. We have to do that repair too. But we also have institutional repair that we have to do as well to get us back to our original state as African people. So July at the uh, next community assembly, we will begin that process. Hope you'll come out and, and have some ideas, some specific ideas of how we can move the reparations conversation forward. And I thank you for your time. Thank you, Brother Lenny. Uh, Let's get a brother big hand.